Hello! In this video that I have created, we will explore a collection of the most important heritage sites in India. This virtual journey will take you through time and space, to a wonderful world of culture and history. We will delve into each site in detail, explaining its significance and what sets it apart. In the first part of the video, we will be introduced to a range of amazing and awe-inspiring sites. We will begin with the Ajanta Caves and the Ellora Caves, where you will witness the stunning rock architecture and exquisite sculptures by ancient artists. Then we will move on to Agra Fort and the Taj Mahal, immersing ourselves in tales of love, grandeur, and magnificence that are embodied in these iconic places. Next, we will visit the Sun Temple in Kanarak and the Mahabalipuram Monument Complex. You will encounter colossal stone sculptures and incredible temples that represent an invaluable legacy of ancient Indian art and architecture. Of course, we cannot forget to explore Kazaranga National Park, Mana's Fauna Habitat, and Kialadio National Park, where you will discover the diverse wildlife and the beauty of nature in these protected areas. In the final part of the video, we will continue our journey to explore more remarkable heritage sites in India. We will visit the churches and monasteries of Goa, the Kajurahu Monument Complex, the Monument Complex in Hampi, the Fatefer Sikri site, and the Patatical Monument Complex. Finally, we will explore the Elephanta Caves and their beautiful temples. And we will conclude with a visit to the famous Kola Temples where you will appreciate the unique architectural artistry showcased in these temples. We are excited to have you join us on this thrilling adventure. Be sure to stay with us and watch the complete video to discover the beauty and history of these magnificent historical sites in India. The Ajanta Caves are a magnificent complex of ancient Buddhist rock-cut caves located in Maharashtra, India. They are recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and are renowned for their exquisite rock-cut architecture, intricate sculptures, and vibrant mural paintings. The caves were carved into the horseshoe-shaped rock face of the Wagra River Valley, situated in the Sahyadri Hills of the Western Ghats. The construction of the caves is believed to have started in the 2nd century BC and continued until the 6th century CE. There are a total of 30 caves at a gentle, numbered from Cave 1 to Cave 30. These caves were used as monastic retreats for Buddhist monks and served as prayer halls, living quarters, and educational spaces. The caves also functioned as a place for religious rituals and meditation. The most remarkable feature of the Ajanta Caves is the mural paintings that adorn the walls and ceilings of several caves. These paintings depict various scenes from the life of Buddha, Yataka tales, stories of Buddha's previous lives and other Buddhist deities. The paintings showcase a high level of artistic skill and provide valuable insights into ancient Indian art and culture. The sculptures at Ajanta are equally impressive, with intricately carved statues of Buddha and Bodhisattvas. The sculptures exhibit a range of styles, including the early Hinayana and later Mahayana Buddhist art forms. The Ajanta caves were abandoned and gradually fell into obscurity after the decline of Buddhism in India. They remained hidden until 1819, when a British officer accidentally rediscovered them. Since then, extensive restoration and conservation efforts have been undertaken to preserve these architectural and artistic masterpieces. Visiting the Ajanta caves allows visitors to immerse themselves in the rich history spirituality, and artistic brilliance of ancient India. It's a place of immense cultural significance and attracts tourists and scholars from around the world. If you ever have the opportunity to visit Maharashtra, the Ajanta Caves are definitely worth exploring. The Ajanta Caves were discovered by British officer John Smith in 1819 while he was on a tiger hunting expedition. However, the caves had been known to the local population for a long time before that. The caves were carved by individuals belonging to the Buddhist community, and these caves were used as retreats for monks and centers for Buddhist education. 
The caves feature a mix of dramatic and grand caves, with some caves containing pillars and large halls, while others have small cells and textual inscriptions. The mural art in the caves is considered among the finest Buddhist art in the world. These wall paintings were executed using organic pigments and mosaics, depicting scenes from the life and teachings of Buddha. The Ajanta Caves narrate a collection of familiar stories in Buddhist culture known as Yataka Tales. The Ellora Caves are another UNESCO World Heritage Site located in Maharashtra, India, near the city of Aurangabad. They are a remarkable complex of rock-cut caves that showcase a fusion of Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain art and architecture. The caves at Ellora were excavated between the 6th and 10th centuries c making them slightly more recent than the Ajanta Caves. The Ellora Caves consist of a total of 34 caves carved into the vertical face of the Sharanandri Hills. These caves are divided into three main groups, the Buddhist Caves Caves 112, the Hindu Caves Caves 1329, and the Jain Caves Caves 30-34. The Buddhist caves at Ellora feature intricately carved sculptures of Buddha and Bodhisattvas, as well as ornate pillars and prayer halls. These caves exhibit a transition from the earlier Hinayana Buddhist style to the later Mahayana Buddhist style. The Hindu caves are the largest group at Ellora and showcase magnificent sculptures and elaborate architectural elements dedicated to various Hindu deities. The most famous cave in this group is the Kalasa Temple Cave 16, an architectural marvel carved out of a single massive rock. It is considered one of the largest monolithic structures in the world. The Jain Caves at Ellora are relatively smaller, but still display exquisite craftsmanship. These caves feature intricately carved statues of Jain Turthan Karis and other Jain motifs. Like the Ajanta Caves, the Ellora Caves were abandoned and forgotten over time, though they were rediscovered in the 19th century. Since then, restoration and preservation efforts have been carried out to safeguard these ancient treasures. Visiting the Ellora Caves offers visitors a glimpse into the rich cultural heritage of India and the interplay of different religious traditions. It is a testament to the artistic and architectural achievements of ancient Indian civilizations. Together with the Ajanta Caves, the Ellora Caves form a significant cultural and historical destination in Maharashtra, attracting tourists, scholars, and art enthusiasts from around the world. The Ellora Caves are known for their remarkable architectural diversity, featuring rock-cut temples, monasteries, and prayer halls. The caves were created by carving into the volcanic basalt rock showcasing the skill and craftsmanship of the artisans of that time. The Kalasa Temple Cave 16 is the most famous and awe-inspiring cave at Ellora. It is dedicated to Lord Shiva and is a monumental representation of Mount Kailash, the mythical abode of Lord Shiva. The temple is adorned with intricate carvings, sculptures, and elaborate pillars. The Kalasa Temple is estimated to have taken around 200 years to complete, and was carved from top to bottom, including the surrounding walls, pillars, and even the ceilings. It is considered a masterpiece of Indian rock-cut architecture. The Ellora Caves are a testament to the religious harmony and syncretism that existed in ancient India. The proximity of Hindu, Buddhist, and Jain caves in the same complex reflects the coexistence and mutual influence of these faiths during that period. The Jain Caves at Ellora, particularly Caves 32 and 34, are known for their intricate detailing and delicate sculptures of Jain Turthan Karas. These caves also feature ornate motifs and symbols significant to Jainism. The Hindu Caves at Ellora include representations of various Hindu deities such as Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu, and Goddess Durga. The sculptures depict mythological episodes celestial beings, and intricately carved architectural elements like mandapas pillared halls and shrines. The Ellora Caves attract a large number of visitors during religious festivals such as Mahashivaratri, when devotees come to pay homage to Lord Shiva at the Kalasa Temple.
The Elora Caves were collectively designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. In 1983, recognizing their cultural and historical significance, Three Agra Fort. Agra Fort, also known as the Red Fort of Agra, is a historic fort located in Agra, Uttar Pradesh, India. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most prominent landmarks in the city. Here is some additional information about Agra Fort. 1. Construction Agra Fort was originally built as a military structure by the Mughal Emperor Akbar the Great in the late 16th century. However, the fort underwent significant expansions and renovations under subsequent Mughal emperors, particularly Shah Jahan. 2. Architectural style The fort exhibits a blend of Islamic, Persian, and Hindu architectural elements. It is primarily constructed with red sandstone, giving it a distinct reddish appearance. 3. Layout and features Agra Fort covers an area of about 94 acres and is enclosed by massive walls that stretch for approximately 2.5 kilometers 1, 6 miles. Within the fort complex, there are several buildings, including palaces, audience halls, mosques, gardens, and other structures. 4. Notable structures The fort houses several notable structures, including the Jahangiri Mahal Jahangir's Palace, Diwanayam Hall of Public Audience, Diwan I Kas Hall of Private Audience, Kas Mahal Private Palace, Shish Mahal Mirror Palace, and the Musaman Burje, an octagonal tower with a marble balcony. 5. Historical Significance Agra Fort served as the main residence of the Mughal emperors until the capital was shifted to Delhi. It witnessed significant historical events, including power struggles. Among the Mughal rulers and the imprisonment of Emperor Shah Jahan by his son Aurangzeb. 6. Connection to the Taj Mahal Agra Fort holds a special connection to the Taj Mahal, as it was from the fort that Emperor Shah Jahan, while imprisoned, gazed at the Taj Mahal, which he had built as a mausoleum for his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal. 7. Tourist Attraction Today, Agra Fort is a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world. It offers insights into Mughal architecture, history, and the opulent lifestyle of the Mughal rulers. 8. Conservation and Restoration Efforts have been made to preserve and restore the fort over the years to maintain its historical and architectural integrity. Agra Fort stands as a testament to the grandeur and magnificence of the Mughal era and provides visitors with a glimpse into India's rich cultural heritage. Construction Period The construction of Agra Fort began in 1565 during the reign of Emperor Akbar, and continued until the time of Emperor Shah Jahan in the 17th century. The fort was further expanded and embellished by subsequent rulers. Architectural Influences Agra Fort showcases a unique amalgamation of architectural styles reflecting the artistic influences from different periods. It combines elements of Islamic, Persian, and Central Asian architecture with indigenous Indian designs. Strategic Location Agra Fort is strategically located on the banks of the Yamuna River, providing a natural defense and a commanding view of the surroundings. The fort's location also made it a significant center for trade and governance. Fortifications, the fort's exterior features towering walls and bastions that served as defensive structures. The fortifications were designed to withstand enemy attacks, with features such as moats, gates, and intricate labyrinthine pathways. Gardens and Waterworks, Agra Fort incorporates beautiful gardens and waterworks within its complex. Notable examples include the Anguri Bag Grape Garden, where grapes were cultivated for the emperor's consumption, and the Kas Mahal Garden, a private garden for the royal family. Cultural significance, Agra Fort played a pivotal role in shaping Mughal culture and art. It was a center of patronage for various artisans, including architects, painters, and craftsmen, who created exquisite works of art and architecture within the fort. Historical events, Agra Fort witnessed several significant historical events, 
It was the site of the famous battle for succession between the Mughal princes Dara Shiko and Aurangzeb. Aurangzeb emerged victorious and later imprisoned his father, Emperor Shah Jahan, within the fort. Light and Sound Show A popular attraction at Agra Fort is the evening light and sound show. The show depicts the fort's history through a captivating combination of lights, music, and narration creating a magical experience for visitors. Accessibility, Agra Fort is conveniently located near the Taj Mahal, making it a popular destination for tourists who visit both sites during their visit to Agra. Agra Fort stands as a testament to the grandeur and power of the Mughal Empire and offers visitors a glimpse into the rich history of India. Its architectural splendor, historical significance, and cultural heritage make it a must-visit destination for travelers. Fourthly, Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is one of the most iconic and recognized landmarks in the world. Located in Agra, Uttar Pradesh, India, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and considered one of the greatest architectural achievements in human history. Here is some additional information about the Taj Mahal construction period. The Taj Mahal was built by Emperor Shah Jahan in the 17th century as a mausoleum for his beloved wife, Mumtaz Mahal. Construction began in 1632 and was completed around 1653, taking approximately 21 years to finish. Architectural style, the Taj Mahal is an exquisite example of Mughal architecture which combines elements of Persian, Islamic, and Indian architectural styles. It is renowned for its symmetrical design, tricket carvings, and the brilliant use of white marble. Symbol of love, the Taj Mahal is often regarded as a symbol of eternal love. It was built by Shah Jahan as a tribute to his deceased wife, Mumtaz Mahal. The mausoleum houses the tombs of both Shah Jahan and Mumtaz Mahal. White Marble Beauty, the Taj Mahal is constructed primarily of white marble, which gives it its ethereal appearance. The marble was sourced from various regions of India and other parts of Asia. It is adorned with intricate inlay work, including semi-precious stones and delicate floral patterns. Central Structure, the central structure of the Taj Mahal is a large domed mausoleum that stands on a raised platform. It is flanked by four minarets, which are slightly tilted outward to protect the main structure in case of an earthquake. Gardens and water features The Taj Mahal is surrounded by beautifully landscaped gardens, known as the Charba, with pathways and water channels dividing the gardens into quadrants. A reflecting pool, known as the Yamuna River, enhances the symmetry and creates a stunning reflection of the Taj Mahal. Intricate details and calligraphy. The Taj Mahal is adorned with intricate details and exquisite calligraphy. Quranic verses and decorative elements are skillfully carved into the marble surfaces, showcasing the mastery of Mughal craftsmanship. Tourism and cultural significance. The Taj Mahal attracts millions of visitors from around the world who come to admire its beauty and learn about its historical and cultural significance. It is considered a masterpiece of art, architecture, and engineering, and is a symbol of India's rich cultural heritage. Preservation and restoration efforts are continually undertaken to preserve and protect the Taj Mahal from environmental factors and deterioration. Measures such as restricted visitor access, pollution control, and restoration initiatives are implemented to maintain its splendor. The Taj Mahal stands as a testament to the power of love, architectural brilliance, and the rich history of the Mughal Empire. Its timeless beauty and emotional significance continue to captivate people from all walks of life. Architectural Precision The Taj Mahal is renowned for its precise and meticulous architectural design. The entire complex is perfectly symmetrical, with every element and feature duplicated on either side of the central axis. This level of precision is a testament to the exceptional craftsmanship of the artisans involved in its construction. Changing colors, the Taj Mahal appears to change colors depending on the time of day and the lighting conditions. It appears to be pinkish in the morning, 
milky white during the day, and golden in the moonlight. This phenomenon is attributed to the reflection and scattering of sunlight on the white marble surface. Calligraphic inscriptions. The Taj Mahal is adorned with elaborate calligraphic inscriptions from the Quran. The verses are skillfully carved in black marble and are positioned in various locations, including the entrance arches and the cenotaphs inside the mausoleum. The calligraphy is considered a significant form of Islamic art and adds to the overall grandeur of the monument. Cenotaphs and Burial Chambers The Taj Mahal houses the cenotaphs of Emperor Shah Jahan and Mumtaz Mahal. The actual burial chambers are located in the lower level of the structure and are not accessible to the public. The cenotaphs, beautifully adorned with intricate marble inlay work, are symbolic representations of the tombs. Influence on Architecture The Taj Mahal has had a profound influence on architecture globally. Its elegant design and use of white marble have inspired numerous structures and monuments. Worldwide, often referred to as Taj Mahal inspired architecture. These buildings aim to replicate the splendor and beauty of the iconic mausoleum. Threats and conservation over the years, the Taj Mahal has faced several threats, including pollution, environmental degradation, and the impact of tourism. Efforts have been made to address these concerns, including measures to control air pollution, limit visitor numbers, and conduct restoration and conservation work to preserve the monument for future generations. World Heritage Status The Taj Mahal was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983. It was recognized for its outstanding universal value and cultural significance. Meeting several criteria related to human creative genius, architectural achievements, and the embodiment of an important period in human history. Festivals and celebrations The Taj Mahal serves as a spectacular backdrop for various cultural festivals and celebrations. Special events, such as the Taj Mahatsav, showcase traditional music, dance, crafts, and cuisine providing visitors with a glimpse into the vibrant cultural heritage of the region. The Taj Mahal's beauty, historical importance, and cultural significance continue to captivate people worldwide. Its enduring legacy as a monument of love and architectural brilliance make it an iconic symbol of India. Fifth, Sun Temple in Konark. The Sun Temple in Konark, also known as the Konark Sun Temple, is a magnificent temple located in Konark, Orissa, India. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is regarded as one of the most stunning examples of temple architecture in India. Here is some additional information about the Sun Temple. Construction period. The Sun Temple was built in the 13th century. During the reign of King Narasimha Deva I of the Eastern Ganga Dynasty, construction is believed to have started around 1255 CE and was completed around 1260 CE. Dedicated to Surya, the Sun Temple is dedicated to the Hindu sun god, Surya. It was designed as a grand chariot of the sun god, with 24 intricately carved stone wheels, and seven prancing horses, representing a celestial procession. Architectural style, the temple is an exceptional example of Kalinga architecture, which flourished in the region during the medieval period. It exhibits a unique blend of religious, astronomical, and sculptural elements. Unique shape and orientation, the Sun Temple is designed in the shape of a colossal chariot, with the Sun God statue, originally placed in the Sanctum Sanctorum, now missing. The temple is oriented in such a way that the first rays of the sun at dawn pass through the main entrance, illuminating the deity within. Intricate carvings, the temple is renowned for its exquisite stone carvings, which adorn both the exterior and interior walls. The carvings depict mythological scenes, deities, celestial beings, animals, dancers, musicians, and various aspects of daily life during that era. Erotic Sculptures One notable feature of the Sun Temple is the presence of erotic sculptures, known as Maithunas. These intricate carvings depict amorous couples engaged in various poses. 
The symbolism and purpose of these sculptures are subjects of debate among scholars. Natya Mandapa and Jagamohana, the temple complex consists of three major structures, the Natya Mandapa Dance Hall, the Jagamohana Assembly Hall, and the Vimana Main Sanctum now collapsed. The Natya Mandapa served as a venue for cultural performances and rituals, while the Jagamohana provided a space for devotees and congregation. Preservation and Restoration Over the years, the Sun Temple has suffered significant damage and decay due to natural forces, including cyclones and the ravages of time. Restoration efforts have been undertaken to preserve and safeguard the temple, including the removal and relocation of some sculptures to museums for their protection. Tourist Attraction the Sun Temple is a major tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world. Its architectural grandeur, intricate carvings, and historical significance make it a captivating destination for art and history enthusiasts. Symbolism The Sun Temple in Kanark is not only a place of worship, but also a symbolic representation of cosmic harmony. The chariot-like structure is believed to symbolize the movement of the sun god across the celestial sphere, with the 24 wheels representing the hours of the day and the seven horses symbolizing the days of the week. Architectural Innovations The Sun Temple showcases several architectural innovations. It was designed in such a way that the main structure is supported by a massive magnet which is believed to have allowed the main idol to float in mid-air due to magnetic forces. However, this idol is no longer present. Alignment with astronomical phenomena, the temple's construction exhibits a deep understanding of astronomical principles. The main entrance of the temple is aligned in such a way that the first rays of the sun at the equinoxes pass through it, casting a shadow that indicates the time of the day. Lost Sanctum Idol, the original Sanctum Sanctorum of the Sun Temple, housed a grand idol of the sun god, Surya. However, this idol is no longer present. It is believed to have been removed during the reign of Mughal Emperor Jahangir in the early 17th century. Decline and Partial Preservation, the Sun Temple faced a gradual decline over the centuries. It fell into disuse and was partially buried under sand. In the 19th century, efforts were undertaken to excavate and preserve the surviving portions of the temple. Konark Dance Festival The Sun Temple serves as the venue for the annual Konark Dance Festival. Organized in December, the festival showcases classical dance forms from across India, attracting renowned dancers and enthusiasts from around the world. Museum Adjacent to the Sun Temple, there is a museum known as the Archaeological Museum, Conarch. The museum houses various sculptures, architectural fragments, and artifacts recovered from the temple complex. It provides visitors with a deeper understanding of the temple's history and artistic heritage. Influence on art and literature, the Sun Temple in Conarch has inspired numerous artists, poets, and writers throughout history. Its architectural beauty and mythical associations have found expression in various art forms, including paintings, literature, and performing arts. World Heritage Status The Sun Temple in Conarch was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984. It was recognized for its exceptional artistic and architectural value, representing a significant cultural and historical monument of human civilization. The Sun Temple in Konark remains a captivating marvel that combines religious devotion, astronomical wisdom, and artistic excellence. Its allure continues to draw visitors and scholars, offering a glimpse into India's rich cultural and architectural heritage. The Sun Temple in Konark stands as a remarkable testament to the artistic and architectural brilliance of ancient India. Sixthly, Mahabalipuram Monument Complex. The Mahabalipuram Monument Complex, also known as the Group of Monuments at Mahabalipuram, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in Mahabalipuram, also known as Mamalapuram, Tamil Nadu, India. It is a collection of ancient rock-cut temples, monolithic structures, and sculptures that date back to the 7th and 8th centuries. 
Here is some additional information about the Mahabalipuram monument complex, Pallavadynasty. The Mahabalipuram monuments were built during the reign of the Pallava dynasty, which ruled the region from the 3rd to the 9th century CE. The Pallavas were known for their patronage of art, architecture, and literature. And the monuments at Mahabalipuram represent the zenith of their architectural achievements. Shore Temple the Shore Temple is one of the most iconic structures in the complex. It is a pyramidal-shaped stone temple dedicated to Lord Shiva and is located on the shores of the Bay of Bengal. The temple complex consists of three shrines, with the central shrine housing a large Shiva Lingam. Monolithic Rathas The Mahabalipuram complex is famous for its monolithic Rathas or chariots. These are rock-cut temples shaped like chariots and are named after the Pandavas from the Indian epic, Mahabharata. Each Ratha is carved from a single large rock and is dedicated to a different deity. Descent of the Ganges, one of the most remarkable open-air bas reliefs. In the complex is the Descent of the Ganges, or Arjuna's Penance. This enormous relief sculpture, measuring about 27 meters in length and 9 meters in height, depicts various mythological figures, animals, and celestial beings. It illustrates a scene from the Hindu epic, Mahabharata. Varaha Cave Temple The Varaha Cave Temple is a rock-cut temple dedicated to Lord Vishnu. It features a monolithic sculpture of Lord Vishnu in his Varaha Bor avatar, rescuing goddess Earth from the depths of the cosmic ocean. The temple also contains several other carvings and sculptures. Pancha Rathas, the Pancha Rathas, five Rathas, are a set of monolithic temples that represent different architectural styles. The Rathas are named after the five Pandava brothers from the Mahabharata and are carved out of individual rock formations. Each Ratha is dedicated to a specific deity. Mandapas and sculptures, the Mahabalipuram complex is adorned with numerous mandapas, pillared halls, and intricately carved sculptures. These sculptures depict gods, goddesses, celestial beings, animals, and scenes from Hindu mythology. The artistry and level of detail in these carvings are remarkable. Conservation and preservation efforts have been made to preserve and protect the Mahabalipuram monuments. Conservation measures have been undertaken to safeguard the rock-cut structures and sculptures from natural elements and environmental degradation. Tourism and cultural significance The Mahabalipuram Monument Complex is a popular tourist destination and attracts visitors from around the world. It is not only a testament to the rich architectural heritage of ancient India, but also serves as a significant pilgrimage site for devotees of Hinduism. The oldest Shore Temple, the Shore Temple, one of the prominent structures in the complex, is believed to be one of the oldest structural stone temples in South India. It dates back to the 8th century CE and is a significant example of early Dravidian temple architecture. UNESCO World Heritage Site the Mahabalipuram Monument Complex was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1984. It was recognized for its outstanding universal value, representing a unique artistic and architectural tradition of the Pallava dynasty. Open-air sculptures, in addition to the rock-cut temples and monolithic structures, the complex is renowned for its open-air sculptures. These sculptures are scattered throughout the complex and depict various deities, celestial beings, animals, and mythological scenes. Intricate detailing, the sculptures and carvings in the Mahabalipuram complex are known for their intricate detailing and craftsmanship. The artisans of the Pallava dynasty showcase their mastery in stone carving by creating elaborate sculptures that exhibit a high level of precision. Ancient trade connections, Mahabalipuram was once an important port city during the Pallavi era and it had extensive trade connections with Southeast Asian countries. The influence of these trade connections can be seen in the architectural styles and motifs found in the Mahabalipuram monuments. Underwater structures, in recent years, the Archaeological Survey of India ASI has discovered submerged structures off the coast of Mahabalipuram.
These submerged remains suggest the existence of an ancient port and indicate that the city was much larger than what is visible today. Annual Dance Festival, Mahabalipuram, is known for hosting the Mamalapuram Dance Festival, an annual cultural event that takes place against the backdrop of the monument complex. The festival showcases classical dance forms, bringing together renowned dancers from across India. Mahabalipuram Dance Panels One of the captivating features of the monument complex is the presence of sculpted dance panels on the walls of some structures. These panels depict various dance poses and postures, providing insights into the ancient dance forms and traditions of the region. Light and Sound Show Visitors to the Mahabalipuram Monument Complex can enjoy a captivating light and sound show in the evenings. The show narrates the history and legends associated with the monuments, creating a mesmerizing experience that brings the rich heritage to life. Seventh, Kazuranga National Park. Kazuranga National Park is a renowned national park located in the state of Assam, India. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is known for its exceptional biodiversity, particularly its population of the endangered one-horned rhinoceros. Here is some important information about Kazuranga National Park. Location Kazuranga National Park is situated in the Golahat and Nagon districts of Assam in northeastern India. It covers an area of approximately 430 square kilometers, 166 square miles. Wildlife Conservation The park was established in 1905 as a forest reserve to protect the dwindling population of Indian rhinoceroses. Today, it is not only home to a significant number of one-horned rhinoceroses, but also supports other threatened species such as tigers, elephants, wild water buffaloes, and various species of deer. One-horned rhinoceros Kazaranga is famous for its population of the one-horned rhinoceros Rhinoceros unicornis. It is estimated that more than two-thirds of the world's population of this species reside in the park. The one-horned rhinoceros is the park's flagship species and a major attraction for visitors. Flora and Fauna Kazaranga National Park is characterized by tall elephant grass, marshland, and dense tropical forests. It is home to a rich diversity of flora and fauna, including over 35 mammal species, numerous bird species, reptiles, and amphibians. It also encompasses several water bodies, adding to its ecological importance. Kazaranga Elephant Reserve The park is part of the larger Kazaranga Karbi Anglong landscape and is connected to the Kazaranga Elephant Reserve. This connectivity allows for the movement of elephants and other wildlife across a larger area, promoting genetic diversity and overall ecosystem health. Safari and Tourism Kazaranga offers visitors the opportunity to explore its natural wonders through jeep safaris and elephant safaris. These guided tours allow visitors to observe and appreciate the diverse wildlife and landscapes of the park while adhering to conservation and safety guidelines. Birding Paradise Kazaranga is a paradise for bird enthusiasts, as it is home to over 480 bird species. The park attracts both resident and migratory birds, including the endangered Bengal florican, great Indian hornbill, and various species of eagles, herons, and waterfowl. Conservation Success Kazaranga National Park has been successful in its conservation efforts, particularly in protecting the Indian rhinoceros population. The park's conservation initiatives have served as a model for other protected areas in India and around the world. Threats and Conservation Challenges Kazaranga faces various conservation challenges, including habitat loss, encroachment, poaching, and conflicts between wildlife and nearby human settlements. Efforts are continuously being made to mitigate these challenges and ensure the long-term survival of the park's diverse wildlife. Kazaranga Tiger Reserve In addition to being a national park, Kazaranga is also a designated tiger reserve. It is home to a substantial population of Bengal tigers, Panthera, Tigris, Tigris. 
and is recognized as an important area for their conservation. Unique Ecosystem Kazaranga National Park is located in the floodplains of the Brahmaputra River. The park's unique ecosystem, shaped by annual flooding, creates diverse habitats such as grasslands, wetlands, and riverine forests, which support a wide range of plant and animal species. Important Bird Area Kazuranga has been designated as an important bird area BA, by BirdLife International. Its wetlands and grasslands attract a large number of migratory birds during the winter months, including species like the bar-headed goose, lesser adjutant stork, and black-neck stork. Conservation Initiatives The management of Kazuranga National Park has implemented various conservation initiatives to protect its wildlife. These include anti-poaching measures, habitat restoration, community engagement, and research and monitoring programs. The Great Indian One-Horned Rhinoceros The One-Horned Rhinoceros is the star attraction of Kazaranga. The park's conservation efforts have been instrumental in saving this species from the brink of extinction, and it is now listed as vulnerable rather than endangered. Kazaranga's Rhino Vision 2020 in 2006, the Assam government launched the Rhino Vision 2020 program with the aim of increasing the population of one-horned rhinoceroses in Kazaranga to 3,000 by the year 2020. The program involved translocating rhinos from Kazaranga to other protected areas in Assam. Cultural Significance Kazaranga National Park is not only a hotspot for biodiversity, but also holds cultural value. The park is situated in the heartland of the Assamese culture, and the surrounding area is inhabited by indigenous communities that have coexisted with wildlife for generations. Recognitions and Awards Kazaranga has received several accolades and recognitions for its conservation efforts. It has been honored with the prestigious India Biodiversity Award, and has been featured in documentaries and wildlife magazines worldwide. Buffer Zones and Conservation Corridors To enhance the protection of the park, buffer zones and conservation corridors have been established around Kazaranga. These areas serve as buffers against encroachment and provide additional space for wildlife movement. Kazaranga National Park is a remarkable natural treasure showcasing the beauty and diversity of India's wildlife. Its successful conservation efforts, breathtaking landscapes, and unique wildlife experiences make it a must. Visit destination for nature enthusiasts and conservation-minded travelers. Kazaranga National Park is not only a significant wildlife conservation area, but also popular tourist destination that offers a unique and immersive wildlife experience. Eighth, Manas National Park. Manas National Park, also known as Manas Wildlife Sanctuary, is a protected area located in the state of Assam, India. It is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is known for its rich biodiversity and unique ecosystem. Here is some information about the fauna habitat of Manas National Park, location and size. Manas National Park is situated in the Himalayan foothills in the western part of Assam. It covers an area of approximately 950 square kilometers, 370 square miles, and extends into the neighboring Bhutan, where it is known as the Royal Manas National Park. Fauna Diversity Manas is renowned for its diverse fauna, including several endangered and rare species. The park is home to the iconic Bengal tiger, Panthera tigris tigris, Indian elephant, Elephas maximus, greater one-horned rhinoceros, rhinoceros unicornis, clouded leopard, Neophilus nebulosa, golden langer, Trachypithecus gii, and pygmy hog, Porcula salvania, among many others. Project Tiger Reserve, Manas National Park, is a designated Project Tiger Reserve, aimed at conserving the endangered Bengal tiger population. Efforts are made to protect their habitat, monitor their numbers, and mitigate human-wildlife conflicts within the park. Riverine Ecosystem, 
The park is situated at the confluence of the Manas and Hakua rivers, resulting in a unique riverine ecosystem. These rivers, along with numerous small streams, provide water sources and support a variety of aquatic life, including the endangered Ganges River dolphin, Platanista gangetica. Avian Paradise Manas is a paradise for bird lovers, with over 450 species of birds recorded within the park. It is recognized as an important bird area, BA, and is home to several globally threatened bird species such as the Bengal florican Halberopsis bengalensis and the great Indian hornbill Buceros bicornis. Flora and Vegetation Manas National Park features a diverse range of vegetation due to its varied topography. It encompasses grasslands, deciduous forests, semi-evergreen forests, and riverine forests. The park's flora includes a wide array of trees, shrubs, and grass species that provide food and shelter for its animal inhabitants. Conservation Challenges Manas National Park has faced various conservation challenges, including poaching, encroachment, and insurgency in the past. However, concerted efforts by the park authorities, local communities, and conservation organizations have helped in the recovery and restoration of the park's ecosystem. Ecotourism and Conservation Initiatives Manas National Park offers ecotourism opportunities, including wildlife safaris, birdwatching, and nature walks. These activities generate revenue for the park and local communities, promoting the importance of conservation and fostering sustainable development. Transboundary Conservation Manas National Park is part of the Manas Conservation Landscape which extends across the international border into Bhutan. Endangered Species Manas National Park is known for its population of the endangered pygmy hog, Porcula salvania, which is the smallest and rarest wild pig in the world. The park is also home to other endangered species such as the Assam-roofed turtle, Pantracilla tensis, and the hispid hare, Caprolagus hispidus. River-dwelling species the Manas River, which flows through the national park, supports a variety of aquatic species. This includes the Ganges River dolphin, Platanista gangetica, and several species of fish, including the golden masir, Torputatora, a prized game fish. Butterfly diversity. Manas National Park is a haven for butterfly enthusiasts. The park boasts a significant diversity of butterfly species, with more than 450 species recorded. This includes rare and colorful species such as the Bhutan Glory, Bhutanitis litterdalii, and the Golden Birdwing, Troidzicus. Primate Species The park is home to several primate species, including the endangered Golden Langer, Trachopithecus gyi. This rare and strikingly beautiful primate is found only in the Indo-Bhutanese border region. Floral Richness Manas National Park is known for its floral diversity, with over 650 species of plants recorded. The park's vegetation includes tall grasslands, riverine forests, and mixed deciduous forests. Numerous orchid species can be found within the park, adding to its botanical significance. Elephant Conservation Manas National Park is an important area for Indian elephant conservation. The park provides a vital habitat for these majestic creatures, and efforts are made to mitigate human-elephant conflicts and ensure the long-term survival of the elephant population in the region. Rehabilitation Efforts Manas National Park has gone through a remarkable journey of recovery and restoration. The park faced significant challenges due to insurgency and illegal activities in the past, which resulted in the depletion of wildlife populations. However, conservation initiatives and rehabilitation programs have led to the restoration of the park's ecological balance and the return of several species. Community-based conservation, the local communities living around Manas National Park, play a crucial role in its conservation. Various community-based conservation initiatives have been implemented to involve and empower local communities in the protection of the park's biodiversity 
while also providing them with sustainable livelihood opportunities. Ecological importance Manas National Park is part of the Indo-Burma Biodiversity Hotspot, which is one of the world's most biologically diverse regions. The park's location at the foothills of the eastern Himalayas contributes to its ecological significance and adds to the overall conservation value of the area. Manas National Park's diverse fauna habitat, coupled with its scenic beauty and cultural significance, make it an important conservation area and a popular destination for wildlife enthusiasts. Ninth, Kialadio National Park. Kialadio National Park, also known as Bharatpur Bird Sanctuary, is a renowned avian habitat and a designated national park located in Bharatpur, Rajasthan, India. Here's some information about Kialadio National Park 1. Location and Size Kialadio National Park is situated in the northwestern part of India, about 2 kilometers 1, 2 miles southeast of the city of Bharatpur in Rajasthan. The park covers an area of approximately 29 square kilometers 11 square miles. 2. UNESCO World Heritage Site Kialadio National Park is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was inscribed on the list in 1985 due to its exceptional avian diversity and as a significant breeding and feeding ground for waterbirds. 3. Wetland Ecosystem the park is known for its unique wetland ecosystem, comprising marshes, lakes, grasslands, and woodland. It is home to the Kialadio Gana, a man-made freshwater lake, which is a crucial water source for resident and migratory birds. 4. Avian Diversity Kialadio National Park is a paradise for birdwatchers, hosting over 370 species of birds. The park is particularly famous for its migratory birds that arrive here during the winter months, including the endangered Siberian crane, Grusluco gerinus. Other notable bird species include painted storks, ibises, herons, pelicans, ducks, and various raptors. 5. Migratory birds. Every winter, Kialadio National Park becomes home to a large number of migratory birds that travel thousands of kilometers. From their breeding grounds in high-altitude regions such as Siberia and Central Asia, these birds use the park as a wintering ground and for breeding purposes. 6. Vegetation The park's vegetation consists of diverse plant species, including aquatic plants, grasses, shrubs, and trees. The woodland areas are dominated by species like Babel Acacia nilotica, Kadam anthocephalus kinensis, and Jamin syzygium kamini. 7. Fauna Besides birds, Kialadio National Park is also inhabited by various other animal species. The park is home to several mammal species such as spotted deer, somber deer, nilgai bluebull, wild boar, and Indian python. Reptiles like marsh crocodiles and numerous species of turtles can also be found in the wetland habitat. 8. Conservation and Management Kialadio National Park is managed by the Rajasthan Forest Department and the Government of India. Conservation efforts focus on maintaining the wetland ecosystem, protecting the habitat, preventing poaching, and promoting sustainable tourism. 9. Visitor Facilities the park offers various facilities to visitors, including walking trails, cycle rickshaws, and boats for birdwatching and exploring the park. There is also a museum and interpretation center that provides information about the park's biodiversity, history, and conservation initiatives. Historical significance The park's name, Kialadio, is derived from the ancient temple of Lord Shiva, Kialadio, also known as Kialadio Temple, located within the park premises. The temple is an important pilgrimage site and a cultural landmark. Ramsar Wetland Site, Kialadio National Park, is designated as a Ramsar Wetland of International Importance. It was recognized under the Ramsar Convention in 1981 due to its ecological significance.
as a wetland habitat and its support of a wide range of migratory bird species. Kialadio Festival Each year, the park hosts the Kialadio Festival, which showcases the rich avian diversity and cultural heritage of the region. The festival includes various activities such as bird watching, photography contests, cultural performances, and exhibitions. Bird Migration Kialadio National Park is a critical stopover point for migratory birds traveling along the Central Asian Flyway. The arrival of thousands of migratory birds during the winter months, from November to February, creates a spectacular sight for visitors. Conservation Success Kialadio National Park has achieved significant success in conservation efforts. In the past, the park faced challenges such as habitat degradation and overhunting. However, through conservation initiatives and active management, the park has witnessed the recovery of bird populations and the restoration of their habitat. Flora and Vegetation The park's vegetation includes a mix of wetland and terrestrial plant species. The wetland areas are dominated by aquatic plants like water lilies, lotus, and submerged vegetation. The terrestrial areas consist of dry grasslands, shrubs, and trees such as care, capris, decidua, and beer. Zizophus mauritiana. Biodiversity hotspot, Kialadio National Park is located in the Gangetic Plains biogeographic region, which is considered a biodiversity hotspot. The park's diverse habitats support not only birds, but also a variety of plant and animal species contributing to the overall biodiversity of the region. Nature Interpretation Center The park features a nature interpretation center that provides information about the park's ecology, avian species, and conservation efforts. Visitors can learn about the park's importance and engage in educational activities. Wildlife Research Kialadio National Park serves as a research site for studying bird behavior. Migration Patterns, Wetland Ecology, and Other Aspects of Wildlife Biology Researchers and scientists visit the park to conduct studies and contribute to the understanding and conservation of avian species. Kialadio National Park is a haven for bird enthusiasts and nature lovers, offering a unique opportunity to witness the beauty and diversity of avian species. Its recognition as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and its ecological importance make it a significant conservation area and a popular tourist destination in India. Tenth, Churches and Monasteries of Goa. Goa, a coastal state in western India, is known for its rich history, diverse culture, and architectural heritage. It has a significant Christian presence, and there are several beautiful churches and monasteries throughout the region. Here are some notable ones. 1. Basilica of Bom Jesus, located in Old Goa. The Basilica of Bom Jesus is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most famous churches in Goa. It houses the mortal remains of Sti T. Francis Xavier, a revered Catholic saint. The church is known for its exquisite Baroque architecture and stunning interior decorations. 2. Say Cathedral, adjacent to the Basilica of Bom Jesus. The Say Cathedral is one of the largest churches in Asia. It is dedicated to Sti T, Catherine of Alexandria, and is a magnificent example of Portuguese Gothic architecture. The cathedral's bell, known as the Golden Bell, is one of the largest in the world. 3. Church of Sti T, Francis of Assisi, situated in Old Goa. The Church of Sti T, Francis of Assisi, is a captivating structure built in the 17th century. The church showcases a combination of Manulan and Tuscan architectural styles. It also houses a museum that exhibits artifacts and sculptures from the colonial era. 4. Church of Our Lady of the Immaculate Conception, located in Panaji, the capital city of Goa. This church is one of the most iconic and recognizable landmarks in the state. It features a striking white facade and a grand staircase leading to the entrance. The church is known for its annual feast celebrated on December 8. 5. Church of Sti T, Kajitan, 
situated in Old Goa, the Church of Sti T. Kajitan is modeled after Sti T. Peter's Basilica in Rome. It was built by Italian friars of the Order of Theatines. The church's Corinthian style architecture and beautiful altars make it a remarkable sight. 6. Church of Sti T. Augustine, located in Old Goa. The Church of Sti T. Augustine is now in ruins, but still holds architectural charm. It was once part of a complex that included a convent and a college. The church's bell tower, which stands separately from the ruins, is a prominent landmark. 7. Rachel Seminary, situated in Rachel, South Goa. Rachel Seminary is one of the oldest and largest seminaries in Goa. It has a magnificent church dedicated to Our Lady of Snows. The seminary complex also houses a museum that displays artifacts related to the Goan Catholic history. 8. Monte Sinai located in the village of Siolan, North Goa. Monte Sinai is a hilltop church. Known for its panoramic views of the surrounding countryside. The church is a popular pilgrimage site and attracts devotees during the annual feast of Our Lady of Sinai. Certainly, here are some more details about churches and monasteries. In Goa, 9. Church of Our Lady of the Rosary, situated in the village of Navalim in South Goa. The Church of Our Lady of the Rosary is known for its architectural beauty. It is one of the oldest churches in Goa and features a mix of Indian. 10. Church of Sti T. L. Located in the village of Talalim in South Goa, the Church of Sti T. An is a prominent church known for its unique architecture. It is characterized by a combination of Indian and European design elements, with ornate floral motifs and intricate woodwork. 11. Church of Sti T. Alex, situated in the village of Kalangut in North Goa, the Church of Sti T. Alex is a popular church among locals and tourists alike. It is known for its striking white facade and elegant interiors adorned with beautiful statues and paintings. 12. Church of Maidi Deuce, situated in the village of Saligo in North Goa. The Church of Maidi Deuce Mother of God is a stunning example of neo-Gothic architecture. Its towers, stained glass windows, and intricate designs make it a visually impressive structure. 13. Church of Rees Magos. Located in the village of Rees Magos, near Panaji, the Church of Rees Magos is one of the oldest churches in Goa. It offers panoramic views of the Mondovi River and the surrounding landscape. The church has been meticulously restored and now serves as a cultural center. 14. Church of Sti T. John the Baptist, situated in the village of Banalim in South Goa, the Church of Sti T. John the Baptist is known for its unique architecture and vibrant facade. The church hosts the traditional Fama festival, which celebrates the feast of Sti T. John the Baptist. 15. Old Goa Convent and Church of Sti T. Monica, located in Old Goa, the Old Goa Convent and Church of Sti T. Monica is an ancient religious complex that includes a church, a convent, and a chapel. It showcases a combination of Indo-Portuguese and Mughal architectural styles. 16. Church of Our Lady of Grace, situated in Margal, the commercial hub of South Goa. The Church of Our Lady of Grace is a beautiful church known for its intricately carved altars. It is a popular place of worship and a significant religious landmark in the city. 17. Church of Holy Spirit, located in the village of Margal. The Church of Holy Spirit is a charming church with a distinctive pyramid-shaped roof. The church is known for its annual feast, which attracts devotees from different parts of Goa. These churches and monasteries not only hold religious significance, but also showcase the architectural influences and cultural heritage of Goa. They are a testament to the blending of Indian and European styles making them significant landmarks and attractions for visitors to Goa. These are just a few examples of the many beautiful churches and monasteries scattered across Goa. They reflect Goa's rich Christian heritage and serve as important cultural and religious landmarks, attracting tourists and pilgrims from around the world.
Eleventh, Kajurahu Group of Monuments. The Kajurahu Group of Monuments is a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the town of Kajurahu in Madhya Pradesh, India. It is renowned for its stunning collection of Hindu and Jain temples, known for their intricate carvings and exquisite architecture. Here are some key details about the Kajurahu Monument Complex. 1. Historical Significance The temples of Kajurahu were built between the 9th and 12th centuries during the Chandela dynasty. They represent the high point of medieval Indian art and architecture, showcasing the artistic and cultural achievements of that era. 2. Temple Architecture The Kajurahu temples are known for their unique architectural style. Characterized by their tall spires shikaras, intricately carved sculptures, and elaborate ornamentation. The temples are divided into three geographical groups, the Western Group, Eastern Group, and Southern Group. 3. Western Group of Temples The Western Group is the most well-known and visited cluster of temples in Kajurahu. It includes some of the most iconic temples, such as the Kandariya Mahadeva Temple dedicated to Lord Shiva, the Lakshmana Temple dedicated to Lord Vishnu, and the Chausath Yogini Temple dedicated to the 64 Yoginas or female deities. 4. Eastern Group of Temples The Eastern Group consists of several smaller temples, including the Brahma Temple, the Mana Temple, and Javari Temple. These temples are known for their simplicity compared to the grandeur of the Western Group. 5. Southern Group of Temples The Southern Group comprises a few temples located away from the main complex. The Dul Hadev Temple and the Chatterbuj Temple are among the prominent structures in this group. 6. Sculptures and Carvings the temples of Kajurahu are famous for their intricate stone carvings depicting a variety of themes, including gods and goddesses, celestial nymphs apsaris, dancers, musicians, warriors, and everyday life scenes. The carvings showcase a remarkable level of detail and craftsmanship. 7. Erotica Sculptures One distinctive feature of the Kajurahu temples is the presence of erotic sculptures. These intricately carved figures depict various aspects of human relationships, love, and sensuality. The erotic sculptures, while a small part of the overall artwork, have garnered significant attention and intrigue. 8. Religious Significance The temples at Kajurahu were dedicated to Hindu deities like Shiva, Vishnu, and various forms of the Devi goddess. Some temples also represent the Jain faith. The presence of both Hindu and Jain temples in close proximity reflects the religious tolerance and diversity of the time. 9. Dance Festival The Kajurahu Dance Festival, held annually in February, is a major cultural event that showcases classical Indian dance forms against the backdrop of the magnificent temples. Renowned dancers from across the country perform here, adding to the cultural vibrancy of the site. 10. Preservation and Tourism The Kajurahu Group of Monuments underwent significant restoration and conservation efforts to preserve its architectural splendor. Today, it attracts tourists from around the world who come to admire the exceptional artistry and cultural heritage represented by these temples. 11. Temple Symbolism The temples of Kajurahu are not just architectural marvels. They also hold symbolic significance. The layout and design of the temples reflect ancient Hindu architectural and philosophical principles, such as the alignment with cardinal directions and the representation of cosmic elements. 12. Varied Temple Sizes The temples at Kajurahu vary in size, from small shrines to large complex structures. The largest temple, the Kandariya Mahadeva Temple, reaches a height of around 31 meters 101 feet and is considered the pinnacle of temple architecture in Kajurahu. 13. Intricate Ceiling Art In addition to the elaborate sculptures on the temple exteriors, the ceilings of the Kajurahu temples also feature intricate artwork. These ceilings depict geometric patterns, floral motifs, celestial beings, and divine scenes. 14. Temple Functionality 
The temples were not just places of worship. They were also spaces for religious rituals, festivals, and community gatherings. The layout of the temples often includes Mandapas pillared halls and Garba Griya Sanctum Sanctorum where the deities were enshrined. 15. Cultural Synthesis The artwork and architecture of the Kajurahu temples reflect a unique blend of different regional and cultural influences. The sculptures incorporate elements from various Indian art forms, including Nagara and Dravidian styles, as well as influences from Central Indian and Indo-Aryan traditions. 16. Rediscovery and Restoration The Kajurahu group of monuments remained hidden in dense forests for centuries after the decline of the Chandela dynasty. It was rediscovered in the 19th century and underwent extensive restoration efforts in the 20th century to preserve and protect its architectural heritage. 17. UNESCO World Heritage Status The Kajurahu Group of Monuments was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1986. It was recognized for its exceptional universal value as a cultural property. That represents a significant period in Indian history and showcases outstanding artistic achievement. 18. Sound and Light Show Visitors to Kajurahu can also witness a mesmerizing sound and light show in the temple complex. The show narrates the history and legends associated with the temples through a combination of light effects, music, and storytelling. The Kajurahu group of monuments continues to captivate visitors with its architectural grandeur, intricate carvings, and historical significance. It stands as a testament to India's rich cultural heritage, architectural excellence, and the artistic achievements of the medieval period. 12. Monument Complex in Hampi The Monument Complex in Hampi, also known as the Group of Monuments at Hampi, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the state of Karnataka, India. Hampi was once the capital of the Vijayanagara Empire, one of the most powerful Hindu empires in South India. The site is renowned for its vast collection of ruins, temples, palaces, and other architectural marvels. Here are some key details about the monument complex in Hampi. 1. Historical Significance Hampi served as the capital of the Vijayanagara Empire from the 14th to the 16th centuries. During its heyday, the empire was known for its wealth, grandeur, and patronage of art, architecture, and culture. 2. Temple Architecture The monument complex in Hampi showcases a blend of Hindu and Islamic architectural styles. The temples are predominantly built in the Dravidian style characterized by towering Gopuram's gateways, pillared halls, and intricate carvings. 3. Virapaksha Temple The Virapaksha Temple is the most important and iconic temple in Hampi. It is dedicated to Lord Shiva and has a history dating back to the 7th century. The temple complex features a towering Gopuram, a pillared hall, and numerous sculptures and carvings. 4. Vitala Temple the Vitala Temple is another significant temple in Hampi, known for its exceptional architecture. It is dedicated to Lord Vitala, a form of Lord Vishnu. The temple is famous for its stone chariot, musical pillars that produce different musical tones when struck, and the iconic Hampi stone chariot that has become a symbol of the site. 5. Lotus Mahal the Lotus Mahal is an elegant two-story pavilion located in the Zanana enclosure, a secluded area for the royal women. It is named after its lotus-like design and was used as a summer palace. 6. Elephant Stables The Elephant Stables is a long, imposing structure with domed chambers that once housed the royal elephants. It is an excellent example of Indo-Islamic architecture, with a blend of Hindu and Islamic design elements. 7. Hazara Rama Temple The Hazara Rama Temple is dedicated to Lord Rama and is known for its intricate bas reliefs depicting scenes from the Ramayana epic. The temple complex also includes a royal enclosure and a stepped tank. 8. Royal Enclosure 
The royal enclosure was the administrative and ceremonial center of the Vijayanagara Empire. It consists of several structures, including the Queen's Bath, the King's Audience Hall, and other palaces. 9. Hampi Bazaar the Hampi Bazaar is a lively street that once served as a vibrant market during the Vijayanagari era. Today, it offers a glimpse into the past with its ruins and scattered remnants of shops and pavilions. 10. Matanga Hill Matanga Hill, located in the vicinity of Hampi, offers a panoramic view of the entire monument complex. Visitors can climb the hill to witness breathtaking sunrise and sunset views over the ruins. 13th, Fatefer Sikri. Fatefer Sikri is an important historical site located near Agra in the state of Uttar Pradesh, India. Here are some key details about Fatefer Sikri. Historical significance. Fatefer Sikri was built in the 16th century by Emperor Akbar, the third Mughal emperor of India. It served as the capital of the Mughal Empire from 1571 to 1585 before being abandoned due to water scarcity. Architectural style, the complex at Fatefer Sikri showcases a blend of various architectural styles, including Islamic, Persian, and Indian. The buildings are made of red sandstone and exhibit intricate carvings, ornamental designs, and grand facades. Bulan Darvaza, the Bulan Darvaza, also known as the Gate of Magnificence, is one of the iconic structures of Fatefer Sikri. It is a massive gateway made of red sandstone, standing at a height of 54 meters 177 feet. The gate was built to commemorate Akbar's victory over Gujarat. Jama Masjid The Jama Masjid in Fatefer Sikri is one of the largest mosques in India. It is known for its impressive architecture, with the central courtyard, red sandstone pillars, and a large prayer hall. Panch Mahal The Panch Mahal is a five-story palace located near the Jama Masjid. It is a unique structure with open pavilions on each floor, providing a panoramic view of the surrounding area. Diwan I Khas The Diwan I Khas, or the Hall of Private Audience, was the place where Emperor Akbar held private meetings with his courtiers. It features a central pillar, known as the Turkish Sultana's Throne, which is richly carved and decorated. Diwan I Am, the Diwan I Am, or the Hall of Public Audience, was a place where Akbar listened to public grievances and met with his subjects. The hall has a raised platform where the emperor would sit, and it is adorned with intricate carvings. Tomb of Salim Chishti, located within the complex, is the Tomb of Salim Chishti, a revered Sufi saint. The marble structure is beautifully crafted and is considered a place of pilgrimage. UNESCO World Heritage Site Fatefer Sikri was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1986. It is recognized for its architectural and cultural significance. As a well-preserved example of Mughal architecture and urban planning, Fatefer Sikri stands as a testament to the grandeur and architectural brilliance of the Mughal Empire. It attracts numerous visitors who come to admire its splendid structures and delve into the history of the Mughal era in India. 14th, Patatical Monument Complex. The Patatical Monument Complex is a UNESCO World Heritage Site located in the state of Karnataka, India. It is renowned for its magnificent group of temples and stands as a significant architectural and historical site. Here's some information about the Patatical Monument Complex. 1. Historical Significance, Patatical, also known as Patatakalu in the local language, was the coronation site of the Chalukya dynasty that ruled the region from the 6th to the 8th centuries. The complex served as a ceremonial center and witnessed the consecration of several kings. 2. Architectural Styles the Patatical Monument Complex showcases a harmonious blend of architectural styles, primarily the Dravidian and Nagara styles of temple architecture. This fusion of styles is a testament to the cultural exchange between the northern and southern regions of India during that period. 3. Temples The complex comprises a group of ten major temples, 
along with several smaller shrines and monuments. Some of the notable temples include Virapaksha Temple. The Virapaksha Temple is the largest and most prominent temple in the complex. It was built in the 8th century and is dedicated to Lord Shiva. The temple features intricate carvings and sculptures, depicting various mythological stories and divine beings. Malakarjuna Temple The Malakarjuna Temple is another significant temple at Patatakal. It is dedicated to Lord Shiva and showcases a blend of Nagara and Dravidian architectural styles. Sangameshwara Temple The Sangameshwara Temple is a unique temple dedicated to Lord Shiva. It exhibits a blend of Dravidian, Nagara, and Indo-Aryan architectural elements. 4. Jain Temples In addition to the Hindu temples, the Patatakal complex also houses a few Jain temples. These temples feature intricate carvings and sculptures, reflecting the Jain tradition and artistry. 5. Papanatha Temple the Papanatha Temple is an interesting structure within the complex that exhibits a transitional style of architecture. It showcases elements from both the early Chalukya and later Rashtrakuta architectural styles. 6. Malakarjuna Group of Temples Located a short distance away from the main complex is the Malakarjuna Group of Temples. It consists of a cluster of temples dedicated to various deities including Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu, and Goddess Durga. 7. UNESCO World Heritage Site The Patatical Monument Complex was designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. It was recognized for its cultural and architectural significance, representing a blend of various regional styles and artistic achievements of the Chalukya dynasty. 14. Elephanta Caves the Elephanta Caves are a UNESCO World Heritage Site located on Elephanta Island, also known as Garapuri Island, in Mumbai Harbour, Maharashtra, India. The caves are renowned for their ancient rock-cut temples and sculptures, which are dedicated to Lord Shiva. Here's some information about the Elephanta Caves. 1. Historical Significance The Elephanta Caves date back to the 5th to 8th centuries and are believed to have been created during the rule of the Kalachuri, Chalukya, and Rashtrakuta dynasties. The caves represent an important era of Indian history and reflect the religious and artistic developments of that period. 2. Rock-cut temples The Elephanta Caves consist of a complex of rock-cut caves, primarily dedicated to Lord Shiva. The main cave, also known as Cave 1 or the Great Cave, is the most significant and impressive of the group. It features a large hall with intricately carved columns, sculpted panels, and a shrine, housing a massive three-faced statue of Lord Shiva, known as Maheshamurti. 3. Sculptures and Carvings The Elephanta Caves are known for their exquisite sculptures and carvings, showcasing various mythological figures, deities, and scenes from Hindu mythology. The sculptures depict aspects of Lord Shiva's life, including his cosmic dance Nataraja, marriage to Parvati, and other divine forms and manifestations. 4. Cave Architecture The cave architecture at Elephanta is a blend of Dravidian and Indo-Aryan styles. The intricate carvings, massive pillars, and the overall layout of the caves reflect the mastery of ancient Indian artisans and their understanding of rock-cut architecture. 5. Tramorti Sculpture The most famous sculpture in the Elephanta Caves is the Tramorti, also known as the Trinity of Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. This colossal sculpture depicts three faces of Lord Shiva, representing the creator Brahma, preserver Vishnu, and destroyer Shiva aspects of the divine. Six. Cave layout, the Elephanta Caves consist of a total of seven caves, although not all of them are fully preserved. The main cave one, as mentioned earlier, is the most elaborate and significant. Caves 2 to 5 are smaller and less intricate, while caves 6 and 7 are unfinished. 7. Island setting, Elephanta Island, where the caves are located, is a picturesque island surrounded by the Arabian Sea. 
The journey to the island involves a short ferry ride from Mumbai's gateway of India, offering beautiful views of the city skyline and the harbor. 8. UNESCO World Heritage Site The Elephanta Caves were designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1987. They are recognized for their cultural and historical significance, as well as their exceptional rock-cut architecture and sculptural artistry. The Elephanta Caves are a significant cultural and historical attraction, drawing visitors from around the world. 15. The Kola Temples The Kola Temples refer to a collection of temples built by the Kola dynasty, one of the most powerful and influential dynasties in South Indian history. These temples are known for their architectural grandeur, intricate carvings, and cultural significance. Here's some information about the Kala temples. 1. Kola Dynasty The Kola Dynasty ruled over a significant part of South India, primarily between the 9th and 13th centuries. They were great patrons of art, architecture, and literature, and their temple. Building activities reached their zenith during their reign. 2. Architectural Style the Kola temples are known for their unique architectural style, which combines Dravidian and Tamil architectural elements. They have distinct features such as towering gopurams, ornate gateways, mandapas pillared halls, vimanas towering structures above the sanctum, and intricate stone carvings. 3. Brihadeswar Temple The Brihadeswar Temple, also known as the Paravudayar Koval or the Big Temple, is one of the most famous Kola temples. Located in Thanjavur, Tamil Nadu was built by King Rayaraya Kola I in the 11th century. The temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva and is renowned for its towering Vimana, which is one of the tallest in the world. 4. Aravatasvara Temple The Aravatasvara Temple is located in Darajaram, near Kambakanam in Tamil Nadu. It was constructed by King Rayaraya Kola II in the 12th century. The temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva and is known for its intricate stone carvings and sculptures. 5. Gangakonda Kalapuram Gangakonda Kalapuram was the capital city of the Kola dynasty under the reign of King Rayendra Kola I. The Brihadisvara temple in this city is another significant Kola temple and is dedicated to Lord Shiva. It bears similarities to the Brihadeswar Temple in Thanjavur and is recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. 6. Temple at Thanjavur Apart from the Brihadeswar Temple, Thanjavur is also home to several other Kola temples, such as the Thanjavur Puriya Koval and the Sarangapani Temple. These temples exhibit the distinctive architectural style and artistic excellence of the Kola dynasty. 7. UNESCO World Heritage Sites The Brihadeswar Temple in Thanjavur, the Aravatasvara Temple in Darajaram, and the Gangakonda Kalapuram Temple are collectively recognized as UNESCO World Heritage Sites under the Great Living Kola Temples designation. These temples are considered exceptional examples of the architectural and sculptural achievements of the Kola dynasty. The Kola temples are not only architectural marvels, but also important centers of worship and pilgrimage. They continue to be active religious sites, visited by devotees and tourists alike, who are captivated by the rich history, spiritual ambience, and artistic brilliance displayed in these magnificent structures.